Patrice Lumumba securely wrote. Patrice Lumumba was the first Prime Minister of the Congo. He was shot dead by a firing squad in 1961. Fearing any grave would become a site for his martyrdom, his body was dissolved in acid. Now, all that remains of him is a golden tooth, which was kept by the Belgian police commissioner, Gerard Suete. Following the recent Belgian royal visit to the Congo, the return of the tooth is a continuation of its gestures of reconciliation. Ahead of the official ceremony, Lumumba's son, Roland, had this to say. Je ne peux pas dire, c'est la joie. I can't say it's joyous, but it's positive for us. It's positive that we can finally bury one of ours. Lumumba's family first met with King Philippe. Then the tooth was returned. Next, the tooth was placed within a casket as Lumumba's family were able to hold a funeral. Le retour de Patrice Emery Lumumba dans son pays. The return of Patrice Emery Lumumba to his country will certainly allow the Democratic Republic of Congo to recover an essential link in its national memory, fragmented by the tragedy of his death. Beyond the Democratic Republic of Congo, an entire continent, Africa, is celebrating the return of one of its worthy sons. Cette responsabilité morale du gouvernement belge. This moral responsibility of the Belgian government has been recognized, and I repeat it again on this official day of Belgium's farewell to Patrice Emery Lumumba. I would like to reiterate here, in the presence of his family, the apology of the Belgian government for the way it influenced the decision to end the life of the country's first prime minister. After 61 years, Patrice Lumumba, a hero to many in the Congo, is finally laid to rest. <laughs>